Happy Saturday, everybody. We're back in Universal, and this is the line for parking at 10 to 9 in the morning. Eh, it might be a little crowded today. And just in case you didn't know, when you come in, they give you this flyer telling you that it's the celebration of Harry Potter weekend. Hey, we're back in Universal Studios. I hope we got here in time for autograph tickets. <laughs> it's only 10 after 9. Those are magic bubbles. In all seriousness, they were giving out autograph tickets at 7.30 this morning, but they gave out the tickets a little beforehand to the people that had hotel, uh, or they were on the hotel line first, and they ran out within minutes. So there was a big angry revolt or passionate outcries of fans on Twitter this morning. All of the characters are out. Look, there's Woody Woodpecker. Marilyn Monroe has a fur coat on. Uh-oh, PETA, look out. I wonder where the expo entrance is. Oh. Everybody's here at the gate, waiting to try to get in for their shows. This is the schedule of events, by the way. So people are waiting for the film talent discussion. And look at this, Bellatrix is walking right in front of us. I can't believe she'd be out in the open like that. So we're making a decision to go over to the expo first. It's probably gonna be less crowded because everyone's over at the pavilion checking out the cast interviews. But I don't think that they have a lot to really offer that you probably haven't heard on the DVDs or Blu-rays and stuff at this point. So maybe we'd rather see props. So this is the line at about quarter after nine in the morning. It's only wrapped around like three times. I'd say it's probably like 40 minutes or so, but those guys over there are paid guests, so they'll get in first. Before I forget, the Expo building is also known as Soundstage uh, 33. And back on Soundstage 20 in two weeks is TNA taping. So they're gonna be here for two shows a day the weekend of Valentine's Day. And they'll be back in March, and they'll be back in April for two shows a day. But 20, it's a little bit of a smaller Soundstage, and they'll be back here, it's free. So if you have admission to Universal, you go for free, and I believe if you don't have admission to Universal, you still can get it for free as well. And I'll put the uh, links and times and dates up on the website, if you're from cheapseats.net. By the way, the sorting hat is back there this time instead of being inside. And every time that somebody gets sorted as Gryffindor, these people chant. But honestly, my feeling about it is Gryffindor is kind of like the posers of Harry Potter. Everybody wants to be a Gryffindor. Let's be a different house, for God's sakes. <laughs> Oh, that's very cool. He's giving away like free bookmark ties. Here, a couple of silliness. Oh. Here's just a couple snitch tattoos. Oh, very cool. Thank you. Some silliness. Oh, there you go. Thank you so much. Oh, awesome. Oh, we got some snitch tattoos. Now we're dropping them on the floor. Mary has her uh, Slytherin tie on. I've got one, but I'm not going to wear it right now. Slytherin and congratulations. That's nice. All right, we're going in. Whoa. Don't stop. <laughs> That's really cool. Hey, we're inside finally. So over there you have, uh, looks like a photo op with the Great Hall. Over here we have to definitely wait online for a photo op with Buckbeak. And this is a photo booth. You can choose different scenes. You got a wall that you can sign what Harry Potter means to you. There's a whole bunch of stuff back there that we got to get to. Looks like Ron's wand needs a little Viagra. By the studio tour area we're going to take a picture in front of um, the great hall and they've got all of these really incredible props here look at all of these wicked wicked props we got a death eater mask yeah, Bellatrix's uh, most dagger of these are by the prop master Lord Voldemort's himself. wand Harry Potter's wand that's pretty awesome Hagrid's umbrella it's kind oh of mauve color <laughs> Dumbledore we have a replica Dumbledore wand and a golden stitch that's amazing the Harry Potter glasses, the time turner, the remember all, much smaller than the toy that they sell here. Thanks to from the great table. And we've got money. So we've got like Gringotts money at home. But this is awesome. 
We just need people to look the other way. Wink, wink. <laughs> We're gonna sign this giant wall. What do you think we should write, guys? It's a tough decision. I'm gonna find a good spot here. There you go, that's what I wrote. Could you think of anything better than that? This is what Jesse wrote. <laughs> Let's see what Mary can write. What will she think of? Oh, some giant letters. Right? Ginormous. That's right. Oh, I'm so <laughs> too. You're a wizard, Harry! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, it's just a table of Horcruxes. That's pretty awesome. It's Ravenclaw. Founder. Oh, I like the foam in the back of that snake. Check it out, it's Dumbledore's desk. Wonder what kind of papers he has. This is really wicked. Stay there. It's Skelligro. I wish that they actually sold these bottles. I think you've probably heard me complain about that every time that we go to Diagon Alley. And this is one of the beer taps for Hogshead Beer. Here's some more props. These are all like theme park props. And this guy up here, as Jesse pointed out, he is 3D printed. That's pretty awesome. Okay guys, we met Veronica. Akio Veronica at Twitter. And she's having fun here at the Harry Potter stuff, just yeah. like we are. Bye. <laughs> Bye. When we did the One Direction uh, Day concert, we did these pictures that take like three shots and it looks like you're in motion and you post it on uh, social media. Now they've got this for House Pride, so Mary and I have to go for Slytherin and Jesse's gonna go for Ravenclaw and we'll see if we can get the pictures to somehow get in the video here. It's in the back, it's a MacBook. Oh yeah, look at that MacBook back there. Jesse's getting her thing. Nice. All right. you guys could feel the temperature in here because outside when we got here it was like 48 degrees which is pretty cold for Orlando in here it's got to be like 85 it's so warm <laughs> it's totally the wrong day to be wearing like a shirt underneath my t-shirt a scarf a beanie and my sweat jacket now on my arm this is ridiculous <laughs> all right we're waiting for Jesse to do the house pride thing but in the meantime check this out this is Bellatrix's outfit. And it's really, really cool. And she's pretty tiny. Helena Bonham Carter. I love that Bellatrix's wand holder is even there too. It's built into her vest. That is really cool detail. There you have Snape's costume. That's pretty cool. Alan Rickman looks a lot taller in the movies. And this is amazing. So, this is Lucius Malfoy. Really, really wicked. These might be the greatest cosplay costumes I've ever seen. That is amazing. So Mary and Jesse are looking through uh, books at the exhibition. And you have a letter to Harry Potter here. It's from Hogwarts. It's Neville! I don't know why they didn't bring you here this weekend, but we miss you. It's an empty owl cage. This is the store, so they've got a whole bunch of stuff here in the store. You can buy the books. I love this trunk too. It's so awesome. So, you have the Shaco Chalk. 
Add some shock to your chocolate. Dark chocolate. With no. chili powder. Oh. We're gonna have to get that. Here's these mugs. They're pretty cool. 2015. They have the shirts too. They have these pins from the event. They actually have the train like kind of pronounced on the front. The pins are $15.95. So they have like a little mini sorting hat too. It's animated. So this sorting hat you put on your head, it's animated and it talks. So you could be sorted over and over and over again. I really, really love this thing. And I, I, I honestly think this price is not bad for what you're getting, because it's fairly large. But we're not getting this right now because we are going to celebration. So I'm passing. I do, I do love this a lot. They have this, the Howler card with the sound effect. That's really cool. And this I think we're gonna get. It's 20 bucks. Jesse has a new friend. Oh no, it's like an exorcist owl. <laughs> its head spins all the way around. Mary likes this tank top a lot. I'm in the light. It's pretty cool. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were recording. We'll just leave it all in like this. Oh, the twins came in here. Yeah, I just walked in here and saw that. This is crazy. I left everybody at the test register over there. The twins are going to sign the wall. What does Harry Potter mean to them? Probably a paycheck. <laughs> Probably their house. The beginning of their career. Yeah. Ginger hair. Oh, what are they writing? If the camera focused, we could see. Making some good mates for life. There you have it. Oh, now we've got pictures going on with the artists from the books and the weasels. So we got caught up in all the confusion, but this is uh, Daniel Radcliffe's outfit from the Chamber of Secrets. He's really, really tiny. I think Jesse is much taller than him. Oh, Jesse made a point. He was like a, a little kid when he made this, not like, you know, a grown adult. Ah, stupid me. So here's the car from Chamber of Secrets. And they drove a very similar car on stage last night, which of course is the Ford Angela. I'm, I know I'm saying that wrong, but you guys can butcher me anyway. And uh, you have another car like this out in the bushes on Very Dragon's Challenge. Yeah. yeah. So we've cornered the market at Universal. And this is the Menelima. I know I do really bad with that name also. There's all kinds of stuff here. So we got postcards from Harry Potter, an exercise book, replica witch book, other note cards, all kinds of really awesome stuff. And you have the poster collectibles that are on the wall also. Jesse's showing postcards off. You can see the Bellatrix wanted poster up there. You have a whole bunch of really cool posters. You have the Marauders map. I love it a lot. I actually like this a lot. The replica exercise book. I wonder how much that is. So by the way, this replica book is $37. Not bad for a prop. A little high on the bookend, but you know, we're here. I'm not getting it, but that's what the prices are running. So just so you should know, these note cards, they run 30 bucks. Wait, this is a really weird jump cut, but thank you, Nick, from the Pottermore Show Us Your House Pride thing for taking so long and talking to us. And they remember, he remembered us from uh, going to the One Direction Day at Universal for the same type of thing. So that was really cool. And I think we may, cut, if we do come back tomorrow, we'll be sure to stop by and say hello. These are the rest of these really amazing costumes. This is the Godric Gryffindor costume. This is Rowena Ravenclaw. Yes, really? Salazar Slytherin. Hufflepuff. And Helga Hufflepuff. Is a oh, Pretty sweet. So we all got sorted last year. We're not going to get sorted again because this line is probably about an hour long. But I just want to show you what it actually looks like. Oh, what's your name? Hello. Can I get a high five? All right. Oh. All right. Let's see what happens then. 
see what the hat has to say. It's pretty early on. All right. There's nothing hidden in your head the sorting hat can't see. So try me on and I will tell you where you ought to be. Hello. Cunning. True. Mmm, let's see. Slytherin! Slytherin, congratulations! Yay! Oh, excellent. By the way, this is the line to get in now. Holy macaroni. And the twins are back over here again now. So we saw them inside, now they're back outside. They're mingling with people. That's really cool. So, this is really awesome. You have the twins out there. Just signing for the fans. Very cool. So by the way, this is the giant line now to get into this thing. So if you're coming tomorrow on Sunday, get here early, because this line is super crazy. So by the way, the line to get into the expo at this point, two hours long. Jesse's just in the middle of the street eating a chocolate frog. Nothing strange about that. Everybody else just walking around her. So I don't know what the highlight of the day is so far, but I think taking a picture with Buckbeak is way in the lead. What about for you? Chocolate frog eating. And you? I actually had fun doing that um, Pottermore video. <coughs> the three-way picture thing? Yeah. All right, we're having a blast. So, take the hand above the head, aim it at the target, bring the one forward of the head, and whip it back. You just shot it. You just shot the stage, dude. Let's do it again. Ready? And action! One! Let me see my team and you. Stand by, ready? One above the head. That's it. Aim that guy there. Boom. That's it, yeah. Stand by, ready? Bend your knees. Action! One! Very good, wow. Ready? Stand by. You guys normally ask, like, what are some of my favorite things? The Blues Brothers show is one of my favorite things about Universal. It is just like when a cat gets sucked into a box, if you have a box open and the cat has to, you know, go and into that box every single time. Every time that that show is on, I have to watch it. It just gets sucked in. Jesse really doesn't like it most of the time. This time she looked like she was having fun. Yeah. But I love the Blues Brothers. So what's weird is we came over to see what happened to the stage and there's no stage here anymore. We still obviously have the doorway, but oh well. I like the new spot. Universal has the mummy guys out today too. Very cool. Look at this guy's gigantic clock. He's got the big time turner on. That is amazing, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
So we've been coming here very often for the last 11 years, almost 12 years. We've never eaten at this place. We're not gonna eat here today either, but I just wanted to point that out for the record. I wonder if the food's any good here. If you know, let us know in the comments. Oh, I see a lot of people skipping this lately. How could you skip this? This is one of the best interactive experiences here. It was always so much fun. So that's it, we're gonna skip it. But you guys totally shouldn't. If you're coming here for the first time, you haven't been here like 50 times or more already, definitely go. Jesse's making fun of me for emotions. <laughs> well, it is super crowded in here today. Kind of like when it opened up. It's really cool to see. And the restaurant smells are making me really hungry. But I do not want to eat here again today and spend a fortune. Holy macaroni, look at this line to get into the Leaky Cauldron to eat. All of these people are waiting. I don't think that we've ever waited online outside of the door here. The furthest we've waited online is like somewhere inside. That is crazy. By the way, I totally think the Three Broomsticks food is a lot better than the Leaky Cauldron. But the Leaky Cauldron has better ambience all around. So what do you think? That Making place. fun of me? No, that place though. <laughs> that place is better. I like the other place better. What do you think? I like Three Broomsticks better. Yes, Three Broomsticks. <laughs> There's a, there's a line to get into uh, Ollivanders for your wand show. I have not seen that since like opening weekend. But yet the line for Gringotts is 30 minutes. What the heck? How could the line for Gringotts be 30 minutes, but the line for the train is 45, and there's people online all over the place in here, even to eat. This is the star attraction. Look. So you got more Bellatrix. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, there's a lot of people here to see the show too. Two courts of the brothers separated, each for his own destination. The first brother traveled to a distant village where he sought out a wizard with whom he had once quarreled. Naturally, with the elder wand as his weapon, he could not fail to win the duel that followed. Leaving his enemy upon the floor, the oldest brother proceeded to an inn where he boasted so we're waiting for the dragon to go off but in the meantime i found joseph and the amazing technicolor dream coders here that's pretty cool totally unrelated oh man we just missed the hand coming down oh it's going back up to say hello if only it would work on command so this store is literally the worst for me when you come in and it's um, light outside because I wear prescription sunglasses that don't change uh, and it is way too dark in here. So I take off my glasses and I can't see anything, but I put my glasses on and I can't see anything. It's too dark. This is the most that we've waited for the Hogwarts Express in months, but it's pretty cool. The line's moving fast. Let's see if we get some video of Jesse and Mary walking through the wall. So this is really cool when people walk through, but there's no way to really get a picture of you walking through unless one of your party stands back there. But it holds up the line and it annoys everybody else. So there's the back end of the mirror. We're going through the wall. <laughs> no, we're over here. If they can walk through the wall to get to a platform, why can't they just walk through all of like time or space and just walk right to Hogwarts? Why? <laughs> the train! If you guys ever wondered, the trip over to um, the school is a lot better than the trip back over to London. Hands down. So the sign said 45 minutes. This is really more like 25 minutes. It's not bad at all. It's getting dark out there. Let's find a compartment. Could you have a snack? Where's the food truck? Come on, you can't eat corn drops and pumpkin pasta. Wrong. Food is the first of the five principal exceptions to Gap's law of elemental transfiguration. Mental! 
We're in Hogsmeade! What? what? That was a quick train ride. So Jesse is going on Dueling Dragons. We were coming over here to sit down, but then we found this bug. Look at this thing. What the heck is that? What is that thing? I think it's a magical bug. What do you think? It's a creepy magical bug. That guy's partied out already. So is the woman next to him in the white hat. Oh my goodness. We're not even halfway through the day. Now that we are properly tuned, let's start with one of my personal favorites. Shall we? I like that dinosaur. His name is Scooby. He's the friendly neighborhood dinosaur. Holy cow, look at how crowded this park is today. We are over towards the Jurassic Park water ride. There's only a 10 minute wait for that. There is nothing like a nice water ride on such a hot day. <laughs> look, there's a big crowd here. Everyone is lined up to get wet. Oh, we're almost there. 10 minutes. This thing was more like 20. I hope we don't get wet. So we got completely soaked on that ride. And FYI, back seat. The back row is definitely the wettest row. We were engulfed by water. It literally just came over the top of us. So. It was pretty awesome. At least it's not super cold outside, but we're hoping that we can find one of those drying machines. Look, there's more mysterious work going on now. There's like a whole crane thing over here. This thing is growing at a rapid pace every day. So there's another structure back there. I don't know if it's part of the same structure or it's new, but this is unbelievable. So after getting soaked, now we're in the people dryer. This is a good racket because the people dryer is five bucks. And it probably won't get me nearly as dry as I need to be. I can't see this because I don't have enough hands to stretch it, but... Oh, there we go. That shirt's like perfect for me. Hang on the horrible. Perfect Viking. Stop thinking, start drinking. This is pretty funny. It's the backside of water! And a cup in that little thing too. Hey, it's Popeye and olive oil, but Popeye has a lot of hair. Popeye is kind of bald in the cartoon. Yeah, yeah. What's going on there? It's got Rogaine. Hey, we're in Superhero Island, by the way. Next line. Todd McFarlane's Spider-Man, my favorite ever. This is why we came to Islands of Adventure today. We're going to buy that Avengers guitar. Mary just didn't know it yet. The Avengers, by the way, is $650, Jesse is saying. But the Hulk is $300. And I figured that that's all. Awesome. And Deadpool is uh, free. It's Captain America. Looks really good. Holy cow, look at the line for Captain America. Whoa. Meanwhile, Cyclops, he's got like five people. Oh, it's Storm in the other rogue. We saw the other rogue the other day. Different rogue. So Jesse went on to Hulk while we're just standing here. I'm kind of drying off. And we're just waiting for her. We're going to eat some lunch, dinner? Dinner at this point, I guess. Hard Rock. By the way, as far as hamburgers go, and just hamburgers alone, not the whole gimmick of having sushi and hamburgers or the choice, I would much rather eat a legendary burger at Hard Rock any day of the week than going to Cowfish. Oh, we're eating in a place that I've never been in before. It was like a bar area. Mary got a margarita, but we said, no salt, no salt, but I see plenty of salt. Just kidding, if you didn't know that was from Office Space. This is the jumbo platter, by the way. So you got pitas for the spinach dip, you got bruschetta, you got wings, you got onion rings, you got chicken. My mouth is gonna drool on the camera. And this is why I say this is the best hamburger you're gonna get on City Walk. I'm not sure if this is organic beef, but today I'm throwing that away. The fries are much better than any other place here. The hamburger is just delicious. It's 
plain, it's simple. It's a bacon cheeseburger with some sauce, an onion ring. It's fantastic. And I got the veggie burger. It's like sacrilegious. Well, Universal Studios, that was another pretty awesome day. We're heading out now. We're gonna go home, maybe rest up for a little bit, and then we're gonna make a call whether we're gonna come back tomorrow or not. I think we pretty much saw everything that we wanted to see, but we'll think it through. Well, we are back home, and that was a lot of fun. That was a super long day. It's been a long time since we got up super early to get over to a park, but it was a lot of fun. But we're gonna call it a night for now. And I'm still not sure if we're gonna go back tomorrow, but I think we're gonna relax for a little bit and make a decision. So I'm kind of leaning towards no, because we have the Super Bowl, but we'll see. But on that note, thanks for all the likes, thanks for the comments, thanks for the subscriptions, thanks for watching. I know these videos have been kind of long with the Universal stuff, so um, treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.